<laughs> Hi, so what was it like when I wrote the bastard sword? <laughs> the bastard sword, the bastard sword. Ba bastard. Autumn. What was it like writing the score for the bastard sword? Well, I set myself a rule of no piano. No piano. Because it would be too easy um, to put ambient piano in being my native instrument that it would be more of a challenge to not have piano and I think piano doesn't suit the cliche cheesy 80s thing that I was going for. This may end up on YouTube and there's going to be a lot of dislikes. I know there is and um, I'm really sorry but before you click dislike please dislike me for what my work is not for what I look like. You know, if you think my film's crap, which there's quite a few people that do, then that, that, that's alright, that's okay. Didn't cost much anyway. <coughs> it was written to get away from the granary, to get away from the cold, to get away from women. I shouldn't print that. It was a manly film. As you can tell, I like making really masculine things. A beardy, manly film with swords that was supposed to be fun. And it was a lot of fun making it. So that's the good thing is that because it's got some bad reviews, although I questioned there, I questioned the integrity of the sources. It was so much fun to make that it, it you, you can't really knock it down. I mean, if the bad reviews said, you know, it's terrible, it's two hundred million dollars down the drain, I'd be like, damn it, you know, I, I just wasted two hundred million dollars thinking I'd make something you'd like, but I didn't. You know, it, it cost practically nothing. I had to put a price tag on it. I had to put something on it to make it look like it had something and there's a, there's a review which is quite fair actually where it says about you know stretching the budget so thin and it says this, it says some good stuff but it also says it's not a great film and that's fine but I think where it says it, sh it does the calculations of how far the you know dollar per minute or something but I think I kind of lied about the budget I think it cost even less than what it says I don't think it's a £2,000 film, I think it was probably 1000 or less because the only thing that cost money were the people's costumes which we still own most of those costumes and if we put them in another film technically it doesn't, it, I think it divides it by two so yeah, everything we got, we didn't rent anything and the only weapons were borrowed from a friend we never rent anything, I don't think we've ever rented anything I think for the daily cost of an Arri Alexa or something and the lenses I could probably make a film I don't know if it'd be a very good film but we'd probably have a lot of fun doing it and probably something in there that we'd all enjoy Right then, back to the interview <laughs>